What is up guys my name is Talha and you are watching Gadgets Sphere in today's video i'm going to show you how to unlock the bootloader of the Poco F4 install TWRP recovery and most importantly install a custom rom so i have given the link of everything in the description below and some things you need to see the video and do it yourself so make sure you watch the whole video and subscribe my channel and like this video as much as you can First of all the battery needs to be at 30% at least then you just need to connect your smartphone to the PC and then you need to go in settings in settings you can go in about phone tap on MIUI version 8 times and then you will go in advanced settings and here in additional settings you need to go in developer options and you will see you have to enable OEM unlocking and you have to scroll down and tap on USB debugging once you tap on it you need to enable this it will ask you to wait around 10 seconds because uh, you know they try to say it's very dangerous I don't find it dangerous because I have installed many custom ROMs in the POCO X3 Pro so that's not a big deal and then you need to swipe up and now what you need to do is make sure your smartphone is connected to the PC you need to just tap on power off and after it is powered off you need to hold the volume down and the power button at the same time so let's just hold both of them at the same time once you have holded both of them now the smartphone will reboot into fast boot recovery mode just place your smartphone and then close this tab here you will see in the my unlock tool it will say the smartphone is connected but how do you do that after you go you have downloaded the my unlock tool you need to flash it or extract it tap on extract and then normally open the flash tool like mi flash unlock double tap it will open and it will show phone is connected now you just need to tap on unlock now it will ask you two times that first it will erase all the data you need to tap on unlock anyway and then it will say an unlocked device will like get a virus very easily but that doesn't happen usually so you can say unlock anyway now it will unlock within like two minutes which is insanely awesome because in earlier poco devices it took around seven days wait time and then the unlock process happened so here it is unlocked successfully within two minutes that's insane you will see this unlock logo and let's just wait for the smart Smartphone to reboot now note one thing after you have unlocked the bootloader the smartphone will reboot and it will take around like two three minutes to reboot and then you need to set up the smartphone so it you can set up without even using google account so i'm gonna set up without using any account so i'm just waiting for it to reboot you can close this mi unlock tool normally now and now we are gonna proceed to the next step of how to install twrp recovery in this smartphone so let's just wait for it to boot and uh, so yeah once the smartphone is rebooted what you need to do is you need to connect your smartphone to the pc one more time and then you need to see here we have the internal storage in the internal storage you have to download this twrp which i have given in the link in the description and you need to copy this so just tap on uh, copy and you need to copy this to the smartphone's internal storage of the poco device tap on right click tap on paste once you have copied the TWRP recovery to the POCO F4's internal storage, now what you need to do is you need to go into your smartphone and do some steps. So let me show you what you need to do. This is the file which you need to copy. It is a very important step. Make sure you don't miss it at all. It's very, very important. And then after you have done that, you need to go into your smartphone and then you can just easily tap on power off. But before you do that, you need to go in settings. In settings, tap on about phone, tap on MIUI version 7, 8 times and you need to enable developer options. Go back, scroll down and then you need to go in additional settings go in additional settings scroll down tap on developer options and scroll down you will see this option oem unlocking is now blurred because it has already unlocked the bootloader tap on usb debugging because we need to again enable usb debugging because after the smartphone is resetted or rebooted we need to again do the usb debugging which is a very important step to install twrp press on ok after that is done and then again we need to reboot the smartphone into fast boot mode you will see it is connected to the pc normally hold the volume like the power button tap on power off tap on power off one more time and then you need to hold the volume down and the power button at the same time so let's just hold the volume down and the power button at the same time for the poco smartphone to reboot into fast boot mode one more time there you go we are into fast boot mode again and here you guys can see what we need to do right now is we need to tap on cmd and just open the command prompt now there are two ways to do this first way is if your smartphone is recognized already like just tap on fast boot devices normally and press on enter but in my case it isn't recognized normally so now you need to do a few steps make sure you watch the full video without any skips skips so just close this 
close everything go in google chrome now this is a very important step what you need to do is you need to go in google chrome you need to tap and search here um, you need to search uh, play platform tools for uh, yeah just uh, search platform tools you need to tap on sdk platform tools by xda developers tap on that and then you need to scroll down and you need to download this tool for windows so here you guys can see download tools and then you need to just scroll down dismiss the ad scroll normally scroll down and agree the agreements so yes i have read and agreed all the terms and conditions and then you need to tap on download sdk for windows and it is downloaded now what you need to do is you can just try to open and see that yes everything is there so yeah we have downloaded everything correctly you need to close this window just tap on close and then what you need to do is you need to go in your download section and you will see we have already downloaded the platform tools you need to extract this after that is extracted you will see this type of window where it says platform tools now we need to do one more thing that is go in this and then tap like you need to search 15 second adb installer search that go in xda's official website tap on this and then you need to scroll down this is the 15 seconds adb installer you really need this so you just need to scroll down and tap on download so you can tap on the latest version as well as the old version i love the latest version so i'm gonna use the latest version tap on it and uh, the download has done and you will see it has already opened here in the winrar you know software you can just close this right now and just go back to the download section one more time here we have this zip and again extract the zip to the adb setup and here you need to open the adb and first tap on adb double tap on it and give it the permission tap on yes and here you need to tap y and then press enter your smartphone needs to be in fast boot mode while you are doing this tap on y and enter y and enter and y and enter you need to tap y three times and enter then press on next and finish there you go now we have successfully installed the drivers of this poco smartphone then what you need to do is you need to go back and open the platform tool folder which we have like extracted and just open one more time and here in this you need to type cmd just type cmd press on enter and now you need to type fastboot devices and see if your device is connected to the pc or not just tap on fastboot devices press enter and okay there you go wait a second press enter and there you go it says that the device is connected there you go fastboot device is connected now what you need to do is you need to actually just go and type one more command here only so let me just close everything and show you what you need to do you need to open one tab in downloads and uh, the adb setup which we have done here you can see this is the poco f4 you know twrp setup what you need to do is you need to type here let me just focus and uh, there you go you need to type fast boot devices like no fast boot boot you need to type fast boot boot and type a space and then what you do is after you have written this code fast boot space boot and then again a space you need to copy this file the twrp setup 3.6.2 just copy this and paste here and then press on enter as soon as you will press enter it will say sending boot image it is gonna send the twrp and then booting there you go now your poco f4 smartphone will get rebooted into the twrp recovery now that's how you can install twrp recovery but there's one more thing once you do this step although the twrp recovery will be booted but there will be a problem and that is it will be in chinese <laughs> yeah that's true it will be in chinese to convert the language to english you need to count one two three four five six tap on the sixth number let me just count one more time one two three four five six tap on it and then tap on the last option that is one two three four five and here you need to tap on english and tap on change language and there you go everything is now in english tap on advance and tap on install recovery ram disk then tap on advance install recovery ram disk there you go and scroll down so uh, we have already transferred the twrp file so just need to tap on it and tap on swipe to install and just you need to tap on swipe to install and there you go that's how you can install twrp recovery in your poco f4 now this process will take around two to three minutes so don't worry or panic you know no need to worry about it's gonna happen very easily and nicely there you go it's installing backing up the boot data and then it's gonna reboot the recovery
so after you have done all of that now the time is to install a custom room now there are many custom rooms for this now you can easily reboot system and no problem your smartphone will reboot in miui and twrp is installed now after you have done all of that what you need to do is let's install a custom room now there are a lot of type a lot type of custom rooms of the poco f4 but the gsi ones do not get installed via twrp recovery so you need to make sure that which room you are installing i have given a link in of the ancient os which i'm going to install in this video and for that room you can use twrp recovery so i'm gonna show you how that works so now we have installed twrp we have unlocked the bootloader two steps are done now the final step is remaining so what you need to do is you need to download the ancient OS if you want to try out a custom room right now only the ancient OS will work right now with twrp you need to download the firmware as well as the room i have given the link of both of the firmware and the room in the description below so then you need to just go and connect your smartphone to the pc double tap on the internal storage and here you guys can see we already have the rom file no we need to actually transfer the rom file so we can go in downloads and we can transfer these two files the ancient os android 12.1 and the firmware just tap on copy go back go in poco f4 go in internal storage and tap on paste once you tap on paste it's gonna take a few seconds to paste this uh, both the rooms and everything so we can wait that much but then after we have pasted all the things one more thing i wanted to tell you before you do all of that is that is there are no official pixel rooms yet for this smartphone the poco f4 i hope it will happen in the future but as of now there are no custom rooms for the poco f4 like uh, for like the pixel rooms they are gsi so you cannot install any pixel gsi with twrp recovery that is what you really need to know and the battery life needs to be on 100 percent or 80 percent or even 60 percent it will work no matter what so yeah no problems in terms of that and then the transfer is just about to get completed and here you can see the ancient os 12.1 vivo version i have downloaded and it is transferred now you can do two things you can either disconnect your smartphone from the pc or you can just disconnect it normally and then you need to reboot into twrp and the final step is installing the rom and now that is also a very easy step but there are some things you should not miss in this because this is the most important step as well just tap on power off tap on power off and your smartphone will shut down once your smartphone has shut down you need to tap on the volume up and the power button at the same time you need to actually hold both of these at the same time unless and until twrp recovery boots up into the poco f4 now for the first time once you boot twrp recovery it takes a bit more time like around one minute so you don't need to worry about that as you guys can see i'm holding and uh, yeah it goes black and then it is gonna boot up in a second or two so let's just wait for it to boot up okay <clears throat> and there you go the twrp recovery has booted up now once that is done you guys can see it is gonna be in english now so there you go it is in english now you need to install the room it is very easy go in install swipe down first tap on the firmware that is fw for the poco f4 tap on the firmware munch miui just tap on it and swipe to flash so once you have flashed the firmware firmware flashing takes very less time like within 50 seconds or so there you go go back and then tap on the ancient os we are not wiping data this time okay this is an important step swipe to flash the room now flashing the room will definitely take a lot of time like 10 minutes or so so no need to worry again because yeah that's how it works and after we have flashed the room i'm gonna show you the next step so i'm gonna skip the video as of now and then i'm gonna show you what happens after that make sure you subscribe my channel by the way it make it takes a lot of time to make videos like this after you have done that to go back go back one more time go in advanced now okay and go and install recovery ram disk we again need to install twrp recovery so tap on that file and swipe to flash or install so it's gonna be installed in a very less time so we can easily install this let's just wait for it to happen and then i'm gonna show you we need to do one more important step we can't just press reboot system because then it will crash so make sure you watch the full video as i'm saying again and again so let's just wait for it to happen and you can see image flash is complete and it's taking a bit of time to do so 
there you go now once you have done everything you need to go back in the home tap on the home button tap on reboot and tap on recovery don't tap reboot system tap reboot recovery and once that is done your smartphone will again reboot to twrp recovery the poco f4 so let's just wait for it to reboot and then the final step what we need to do is we can just easily tap on you know okay i'm gonna show you okay so let's just wait for it to reboot to twrp recovery there you go now we are into twrp recovery you need to tap on wipe okay tap on wipe tap on format data tap on y e s yes and press the tick button once you have done that it's going to wipe all the data and format all the data so yeah that's how the format format formatting data will happen the battery life is still 100 percent as i told you battery needs to be above 60 percent to do this step so yeah make sure you charge your smartphone well now it is gonna take a bit of time again like one minute or so to just uh, format the device and after the formation format formatting of the device will be done then i'm gonna show you what you need to do and that is a very simple step that is done you then you can just easily tap reboot system and it will say no rom is installed just tap on swipe to boot now don't be worried like when it says no rom is installed nothing like that will happen your smartphone will normally reboot into the ancient os so now i'm just gonna speed up the video and show you that it has finally rebooted so that's pretty much it for today's video thanks for watching hope you like it i will see you in the next one peace out